Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda if you are new here. If you're not new, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. This is going to be my weekly WW grocery haul from Walmart. I did do Walmart pickup. Thank you guys so much for using my referral link because I did get $10 off my grocery haul. Um, you also can refer a friend to get $10 off, by the way. If you use a Walmart grocery haul, if you refer a friend, you can get $10 off. Um, so yeah, share your link because it's really nice. So thank you guys so much for using mine. Um, I really appreciate that. So I got some extra dog treats <laughs> and some lots of lots of good food and lots of yeah exciting things to share with you guys. So if you're interested in this grocery haul for WW, keep on watching if you're interested. Okay, I have been craving smoothies so bad. Um, it's been pretty cold here, so I haven't been really getting into smoothies as much because I will just drink it and like shiver the whole time because it's so cold here for me because I'm a Floridian um, and it's going to get cold again this week but then it's supposed to warm up so I don't know I just I need I need a smoothie so <laughs> so I wanted to get the mixed fruit because it has peaches mango pineapple and strawberry um, and that's all that's in here there's no added sugar or anything like that so I got some of that and then I got some three color peppers and onion strips. I like to make this with my breakfast. I just sauteed that up with some eggs and it was really, really good with some salsa. Um, so I picked up another bag and I'm gonna do that just to add in some some fun stuff into eggs because those can be kind of boring and bland. I got some Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts, but they're pretty expensive fresh. I think they were like $3.28. So I just got the frozen one for like a dollar. I got some lettuce. We got some uh, green onions, frozen broccoli. We got little wonton strips and some Asian toasted sesame dressing, which I think is pretty low because it's light, 45 calories per tablespoon, per two tablespoons, I'm sorry. So I think this is pretty low in points. I will leave it on the screen and scan it, let you guys know because I'm, I don't know, I usually don't get Asian dressing, but it, I'm, I'm wanting it. So I got wontons to go with this, wonton strips, and I'm going to make a little Asian salad. Got some mushrooms, and then we got these Joseph's pitas. I didn't know Walmart carried these. I thought just Publix did, and these are going to be in a favorites video because these pitas are so good. They're one smart point. I love them. You can make little pita pizzas or stuff it with like a Greek style pita or just have it with hummus is what me and Joey tend to do quite a bit because they're only one smart point and they're really filling and they're really good. So if you see these, try them out. Got some grapefruit and some onions. You guys aren't probably really wanting, interested in that. Onions, carrots, avocados. We got some sugar-free, this better be sugar-free, yeah it is, lime jello for our Greek yogurt. We like to do non-fat Greek yogurt with sugar-free jello and some fruit. It's so good. I promise you guys, it makes Greek yogurt taste so much better. It's actually very enjoyable. Sugar-free lemonade. I got some cashews to make more of my cashew nacho cheese. If you guys are interested in making cashew nacho cheese, it's fully vegan and plant-based, all made of plants. I will have the recipe video for that up in the iCards and down in the description box. It's in my Five Nights at Dinner. It's so, so good. It's also on my website. If that's easier for you guys, that's listed in the description box as well. But we got some cashews for that because we're going to make that again. We love it. <laughs> got some grape tomatoes. Big bag of potatoes. Real bacon bits for a recipe I have coming out. It's going to be so good raspberries blackberries that's a must for me i love to snack on these and put them in my yogurt and if i want something really late at night i tend to go for this got some fat free ready whip i really need to go put in the fridge my favorite cold brew concentrate love this stuff got it again cage free eggs some jalapeno and cilantro hummus this sounds pretty good and we'll probably have that with the Joseph's pita. And then we got some oatmeal for granola. I like to make my own granola with sugar-free syrup. I have a recipe on my website as well um, for my granola. 
And then we got Parmesan cheese, fat-free cheddar and mozzarella. Croutons, we're gonna try to control ourselves with those. <laughs> and then I got organic extra virgin olive oil. Um, I'm gonna try this out. Can of 98% fat free cream of chicken for a recipe. And then we got some organic bread. This is 60 calories for one slice. I have never tried it, so hopefully it's good. We got white cheddar rice cakes and caramel rice cakes for a little sweet treat, mainly for Joey, because he needs sweets. <laughs> we got the Sandal Wet and Vanilla Better Homes Garden Spray. I love this. I will never go back to Glaze or Febreze. This is where it's at. It smells so, so good, and I love the mister. I know that's really weird. If you see that at um, Walmart, get it, because it's really good. We got lean ground beef. We got some chicken thighs. And then this big box of chicken breast. For the dog treats this week, we got crunch treats with real peanut butter. Um, they look like this. There's non-GMO, made in the U.S. And then I got a Red Bull so that I could edit this video and stay up and <laughs> not fall asleep. I also got little things like toilet paper, paper towels, eye contact solution, things like that. There was a few other things we had to get from Walmart, um, but this was all like the food and dog related things. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for my what I eat in a days. You'll see a lot of these recipes and food items in my what I eat in a days. I'm going to really try to push those out and maybe do like two a week, maybe three. I don't know. Um, I do like to make them and I stay way more accountable when I do them. So I am going to try to do more what I eat in a day. So stay tuned for that. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. That helps my channel grow and I do appreciate it so much. And comment down below. Let me know how you guys are doing. And yeah, subscribe if you're not. And I will see you guys in my next video, which should be my meal prep. Bye guys. Listen, baby. Ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide.